Most people think we're dirty, unruly drunks, or fashionable urban generation Xers, whatever. Just that you can say you like them. You well, I don't like them. You can say you don't like them. But I'm not going to run them over. Why don't you like them? I didn't say I don't like them. Yes, everyone hates messengers. I think the only people that like us are like 19 year old females, which is alright with me, I guess, but everyone else seems to hate us. Um, like pedestrians crossing the street don't like us, even though they'll be like jaywalking and throwing their shopping bags all around, and, and then they'll walk, they'll go, and then they'll stop and walk back, and then you're like, oh wait, I don't want to hit you. Oops. Cab drivers want to kill us. They, uh, they don't believe, like, we belong on the road. My name's Mark Zabo. I'm a New York City taxi cab driver. I've been driving for 30 years. And I've seen thousands upon thousands of messengers on bikes. They're dangerous. They drive against lights. They hit pedestrians. They cut across cars like uh, you're supposed to mind read what they're doing. They're a menace. They need to be trained, they need to be licensed, and they need to get tickets just like everybody else. Yeah, you guys. Gotta watch you guys. You're the danger. The battle is so bad that uh, it, it's like a battle of cars. <clears throat> I know the bi bicycle has no protection, and yet I'll block him off. I won't give him any respect. And if I can cut in front of him, I'll cut in front of him because he created that kind of situation between us. Just like any, anything else that's created in this city. Maybe because there's too many people, it's too crowded, I really don't know. But it, it, it's a true statement when they say road rage. I mean, I've cut off a poor bike where I, afterwards I thought, imagine if I would have hit him, I could have killed him, I could have crippled him for nothing, you know? But, but all of a sudden I'm riding and this guy just zooms right in front. I don't have a chance to stop even, you know? So then I get mad and I go up to the next light. He's going straight, I'm turning. I'll wait till he comes close to me and I'm, then I'll turn. You know, to sort of show him that uh, he better learn a lesson. You know, you can't just do the stuff you want like that. This, this is not a bicycle thing. Does it look like a bicycle thing to you? These are cars out here. It's motors. It's dangerous out here. It's dangerous between car and car now. The battle seems to get worse. It's like a war zone out here. My comment is that they're dangerous. They can kill you. They had total disregard for, the, for pedestrians. They run into cars. They smash people's windows with their locks. They, uh, they run people down and keep going. They have no, no regard at all for life or any or property at all. It's a very dangerous job because of the traffic, and speed is of utmost importance because they're on a strictly a commission basis, and uh, I like them personally. They do a good job, and they get their job done, and they gotta make a dollar. Honestly, a little too crazy. They get paid for being dangerous. They didn't take the time out to look for a real job. I think most messengers are non-English speaking, um, non-English speaking immigrant type people. Honestly, I think they're crazy. <laughs> You're driving along, you turn around, and some guy whoosh right around. And it's funny because a friend of mine is a bike messenger. He says when you first signed up, the first thing they give you is a list of statistics. How many deaths, how many accidents, how many injuries. Who would take that job? <laughs> Why would you take that job? They have cute butts. Is that all? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I think they're... Uh uncaring of human life. I, I got knocked down and almost had a leg broken. So I'm not a great fan of bike messages. They just ran over me. They ran a light, knocked me down once. And the other time, I was crossing the street between two cars, and the guy came up so fast I couldn't believe it. I was slightly illegal, but he was even more illegal. OK, nobody should be going 45, 40 miles an hour, you know, on a city street where the cars are doing 20. I'm very much in favor of bike riding. I've been riding in a bike my whole life until about 12 to 15 years ago. So I love bikes, but the intelligence of the people that are riding the bikes in this congested area and on the sidewalks, on the walkways, it's unfair. There's a law against it, but they ignore it. But take a look at them. That's all I have to do.
you take a look and see what it is that's doing this for us. They can dress any kind of way, you know, and I don't feel like, even though they're on the bike, you know, you're coming into a corporate office, why are you dressed like you're going, you know, to the garbage site or something? It's the truth. There's not many people that speak English that look reputable to do the job, so they're not dealt with on a person-to-person -person level. They're treated beneath like a normal, you know, quote-unquote normal person. We are all frowned upon by the socially accepted in society. We are dirtbags. I don't think it's fair, but society seems that we look a certain way, so either they look neat and clean and, and get dealt with the proper respect, or if they want to continue their homeless look, then they'll be dealt with like a dirtbag. They, they won't even let you use your phone. It's true. A lot of messengers don't get privileges because they smell. I think they kind of become a, uh, a haven for uh, uh, the socially irregular, okay? I really do, honestly. I mean, they, they don't stop, they don't care, and it's not just a buck. I mean, it's really, uh, it's nasty. And there's a law against it. In England, they'd really put you in jail without, without talking about it. You dare do it in London. You ride out where vehicles travel, not on the footpath. I love them. I love them. Today I love them. What do I think of bike messengers? I don't know, basically they're all a pain in the ass to me.